welcome back to my YouTube channel. We'll be doing questions girls at one bit ask. Yeah, you have done that into somebody. Ah, I don't think so. I think when you do a talking stage for that long, bro, you are talking to other people basically. Mm -hmm. So you are not focusing on one person. You are focusing on one person, guy. Yeah, so you should just what a man can do, a woman can do better. Bro. What do you think about a lady's body count? I like, <laughs> don't know. It's just like basically in this video. They are giving you to as an example with car. <laughs> Check that. <it> <laughs> So I feel it's that way when you get a girl you struggle. This so hard is not you say ah after all I've gotten this girl. So what next again? So is that is that's not right to do to I know it's not right, but that's just the logic. I don't know, it just happens like I don't know if So you have done that into somebody? Ah, I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> that question, that answer was really really <laughs> it was not straightforward, but let's go on. Okay. Why is it difficult? For some guys to say they like a girl. Hmm. You know, in the nature of guys, like guys are they are proud humans. We like to put it in that way. We're also proud. Yeah, girls are proud. But I, I don't know. Let me not speak English before I say prouder. Bruh. <laughs> girls are proud actually, but guys are proud in the sense. Why are you questioning? Ha! <laughs> Why is it difficult for some guys to say they like a girl? Like they don't. They might not be chatting with this girl and yeah, everybody's on vibes. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, accept the fact that you like this girl. No. Mm -hmm. you just you guys just want to be playing around. You see, there's something guys are always scared of. Jesus. That no. Okay. That no in Fear that of situation. rejection. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So imagine I'm chatting with a girl, we're all going cool and stuff. I'm looking for that actual like where that girl gives me that green light. Most guys will like a girl to even tell them they like um, she okay, likes so you guys, exactly. some of you guys exactly. prefer the girl to, to say, say okay, it I like first, it. exactly. Because me, I already put that platform, like I actually like you, she know now from my behavior and everything. So you just put it like you feel me so then I can only hit the nail on the head. <laughs> my dear, me, oh, I just feel like <laughs> if he doesn't tell you with his mouth that I like you and I want us to be a team, please just be talking to other people. Don't just focus. <laughs> yeah, don't put your eggs in one, but that's my advice. <laughs> I don't know anything in relationship, but for me, that is what I would say. Until they tell you, okay. Uh. Second question is, how long should a talking stage last? Yeah, it depends. So, all things depends on both parties. In the sense, the girl has a point, a part to play. The boy also has a part to play. Mm -hmm. So, like now, like my last relationship, this talking stage was like maybe it was two weeks, Ooh. two weeks or one week plus. Shop it was not two, two weeks. So she gave me that glass, I saw that like, she was interested and stuff, so I had to hit the nail on the head and stuff like that, you get what I'm saying? 
So two weeks at most. Yeah, two weeks at most. Do you know, but there's people that do talking stage for three months. Exactly. Exactly. Is that advisable? Bro, you lose interest. And I, I feel the on the guy part. On the guy on the guy's part, yeah. I think when you do a talking stage for that long, bro, you are talking to other people basically. So you're not focusing on one person. You are focusing on one person, guy. Yeah, two weeks. You just be. want six to Yeah. To, to you guys should just do the relationship part. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. I get, I get, I get. Yeah. Why can't men handle cheating? Like a guy can cheat on a girl, like she's still be there. But if the girl cheats on the guy, Jack Why is it that men cannot handle cheating? Why? I don't know, most guys just see cheating like a normal thing that guys can cheat. I don't know, I don't know, I'm not talking from my own aspect, mm. but I just see mm. that way. For girls, I don't know, it just sounds so off when a girl cheats. Like, I don't know. Just oh. like saying a man can marry many women and that is normal. I don't know, I don't know, I won't do that, but mm. like now, a woman going to marry many men. Like, just look at how yes. it sounds so. What's a man can do, a woman can do better. Oh. Don't go to me, no. Oh. Just say no. <laughs> Don't say no. If they cheat on you, if you can cheat back, cheat and run. Oh my God. If you cannot cheat back, stay there and, and just continue the relationship. Maybe God will come and rescue you. What do you think about a lady's body count? Hmm. Does it matter? Hmm. I would say it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Okay. I don't think it matters. It doesn't okay. matter. But it should not be too much. Okay. Yeah. Well, guys don't can be too much. Girls don't can be too much. Say anything, okay, I'm not. Let me not put words in your mouth. I'm just <laughs> saying. So there are some people. Some video I was watching. Girl was like, he can. His own body count can be very plenty, but when the lady zone is is too much, it's a, a red flag. I'm like, okay, it's preference, personal yeah, preference. preference. Exactly. So let's leave that. I feel like we've not spoken about this on set, but let me just ask it. Is it weird for guys when a lady makes the first move? Like, is it weird? I know if, when we're answering the first question, I asked you like, okay, you feel like when every, when the vibe is there, everybody's feeling the vibe, both of you are feeling the vibe. And she makes the first move to say, I, I love you, Abby. Yeah, you don't find anything wrong with you. So yeah. this question is kind of like that. Yeah, there are many first moves actually. Yes, many first moves, like in the part of like, yeah, showing the interest and stuff. But in another sense, again, maybe I don't know when you want to kiss or something. Mm. I don't know. The I love you part. Oh, the I love you part, yeah, basically, something like that. So you have to just, the girl, if the girl makes the first move, a guy cannot reject. I don't know, I've never seen any guy reject anything. Then, but you could still go back behind the girl's back and say, and she say she's move. too loose. I mean, she made the first move. Know. Some blah, blah, blah. like that. That's not my choice. Are you like that? No, nah, I'm not like that. Why is it that men are never contented in a relationship? Like they want to go. They outside. have one, but they still want the other one outside. It just it happens in marriages, but yeah, I'll just use the <laughs> I'll just use the same example as a car. You can be driving a nice car, bro, but you see another nice car outside. It's just like, <laughs> I don't know. It's just like the thing for men is that like they want something better. If they can get the better, they want the best. If they can get the best, they want something better than the best. So it's just basically that way. So imagine now I see a nice car. I'm driving a nice car. I see another nice car outside. I say, oh, that car is nice. It's better than mine. Even though mine is nice. But just like, that's just the mentality. I don't know why we're created that way. You ask your maker. And is, is it a right? Is it a good thing to do? It's not a, I don't, I it's don't. Not a nice thing to do. That's but not all men basically. Some can still stay committed. And see, basically in this video, they are giving you to us as an example with car. <laughs> I, as I, a I, girl, I, if you're watching this video, you're a car. Just know that. No, I'm a car you, dealer, so you should understand what I mean. Now. Car dealer, he sells cars. So if you're interested, I will put the this thing. His contact, I mean, he's this thing on that video on the screen. Check him out. We are all cows. <laughs> <laughs> hey, okay. Oh what do you God. think about 50 50 dates? Okay, I that kind of person. I'll be like, okay, okay. I, I called you out to come for a, a dinner date. I'll be mm. something a date. Mm. I pay 50%. I pay for my own. You pay for your own. I that, you see? No. Does it make sense? No, it doesn't make sense to me actually. But some people can't do it. Like, there's nothing that's new under the sun, basically. For me, if I call you on a date, mm. and then I'm going to foot your bill. Except we are that cool that you say no, you will pay half. On Except you decide, okay, yeah, okay, okay. to pay half for some. But okay. I called you on a date basically, so I'm meant to cover your bills and stuff. You get? <laughs> mm. Okay. <laughs> What's your red flags in girls? Bro, my red flag is just 
very clear guy. I'm talking to you, like I'm giving that vibe. I'm saying I like you, and you're just blunt, chatting blunt, and you're so I don't know how to be whether it's so yeah. holy. And I'm not actually to flirt with me or stuff, but guy, you have to show that you're interested to us. But when we don't show, you're not interested. Like almost one week plus, so I'm chatting with you, and you're still you, as if we just met today or stuff, guy. So I'll stop chatting with you, guy. So that's a red flag. Very big red flag. You have to show. If you are not interested, tell me you are not interested. Yeah, exactly. So, I'm not wasting my time with you. <laughs> On to the next. How do guys like wicked girls? The ones that that will play hard to get. Oh, he, he just answered this one. Let's just say because he said <coughs> he's talking to a girl like two weeks and she's not giving the same vibe. It's on to the next. So, yeah. do you think like your fellow guys? You guys like girls that are always doing hard to get. Yeah, because the the highest price is always hard to get. So that's why that sense comes in. Like once you get the highest price, you can go for a better price. So you get what I'm saying? You understand? Okay. So once you have that, you go, yeah, this girl was too hard and I got her finally. I arrived. Yeah, now. Yeah. Hey, what? <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> okay. So I feel like I've come to the end of this video. It's not so long. being on my channel yeah yeah hopefully by god's grace i'll be frequent in my videos and thank you for watching tell them what to do don't you don't know what this is at the end of youtube video don't forget to like yeah don't forget okay okay don't forget to like and subscribe and watch my comment yeah. share Tell your friends to tell their friends, bro. They should come and watch video. I don't think I'm boring, but it's well. So thank you guys. Yes. See you guys in my next video. Mm. Bye. Bye. Oh, Hi, I'm not fit.